Alright, this one's gonna be for CMUS users. And um, this one's gonna be the CMUS dash remote, which is a command line to control your CMUS player. So CMUS, if you don't know, is a command line music player, which I talked about in the past. All right. But let's say we're playing a song here. You won't hear nothing because I don't want you know YouTube copyright and any of that bullshit. But you can see that it's playing here, right? And we can use the command line to control it. The good thing about controlling from the command line is that you can actually use these commands uh, with your remote control, and you can use it, you know, with your LIRC or whatever it is you're using. So, for example, this one's called CMUS dash remote. Um, it's in your repositories, you just install it. But you can do like uh, dash n for like a uh, the next song, or whatever. Next, next, right? Or go back is uh, reverse, 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 and now we're back to our song. Um, you know, you can do this. Let me show you the man page so we can talk about it more. So if you do like man uh, cmus dash remote. In here, they give you basically, you know, the what was that the play, pause, or whatever it is, uh, all the basic stuff. Um, but down here, they do have this capital C option, and this is like the raw option. Uh, you can actually pass strings to it, and I'll show you here to give you an example, right? CMUS dash remote capital C, and then you can actually like you know put the the strings. And these strings are basically uh, to control the option that they have in um, what is that? The, the regular CMUS man page. So if you go to back to the man page CMUS, not to be confused with CMUS dash remote, just the regular one. Uh, you can see that if you want to do the capital C option, it should be in here somewhere, right? So basically the strings are any of these in here, right? So like play pause, seek one minute, toggle, A mode, toggle, repeat that we had earlier, and so on and so forth, right? So I'm giving you an example of that. We go back to um, this window here. Here we go, CMUS dash remote, uh, capital C. Let's say we want, um, to go for one minute, so we go seek uh, plus one uh, m here, and then any with quotes. Right now it's at one minute and fifty, so it should be going like you know two minutes. Right there, you go two minutes here, and yeah, so that's how you can do it with the string if you want. And the good thing about this, this is what I use is if you go, you know, toggle a mode. This is basically A is for all artists and album, right? And right here, right now, is it at all? If you toggle it, it's gonna say artist. Toggle it one more time, uh, it's gonna say album, right? So you know you can play around with that. You can actually change the views too if you want. So if you want to do like right now, we're at the uh, the uh, was it the sorted view. But if you want to go back to the first view, which is called tree, right, it'll change it back. Otherwise, we go back to the sorted, and there you go. So you can control everything from the command line, and we can use these command line codes to, you know, pass it on to our LIRC setup. So I'll give you an example of that. Um, let's jump to our LIRC folder here. And let's list it out. What do we got here? CMUS. Okay, there we go. So we'll cat it out. CMUS. Put it into less. Basically, this is what it looks like. Uh, you're going to have to use the IREXE for this. Alright. Because they don't actually have an official plugin, but you can use IREXE. And then you can actually bind it to a button. And then you can actually, you know, use the command lines that we just used it. Alright. Anyways, that'll be something like this in your setup if you want to do it also. Um, so let me give you, actually give you an example. I have my remote here, all right? So let's go back to our um, thing here. All right, right now we have, where are we at here? 
go up here. We're at this song, whatever it is. And if I use my remote, um, change the song, change another song, whatever it is they have here, right? And if you want to toggle the all, uh, what's it? This part here, the all artists and album, you see it toggles when I press my remote. And let's say we seek forward, you can see that I'm, you know, I'm changing the time here with my remote, All right? So there you go. That's how you would control it uh, using the CMOS remote, and you pass it on to the LIRC, and then into your, you know, your real physical remote that you can use from bed or anywhere in your room if you want to do that. Anyways, not very useful if you don't use uh, CMOS, okay? But that's how I do it. Uh, that'll be it for this one.